Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Um, I look a little different today, don't I? Because I have my sweatshirt on and uh, I forgot to take it off. So this is what you get to see instead of me all in black. I'm a little pink today. But anyways, I'm just, um, I'm going to try to show you a little bit different technique with the wedge. Um, I've been practicing this. So um, it's just a lot of fun. I come up here whenever I feel inspired by the wedge and um, that's what I'm doing today. So my canvas, I believe this is a 16 by 20. It's totally dry. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna throw some paint on here. Oh, right out of the tube. Right out of the tube. That one oh. is uh, Amsterdam greenish blue. This is PBO iridescent blue. I'm going to throw a little bit of this uh, bright aqua green. You're not putting very much on. I know. Okay. All right. A little bit of purple. I've never seen you do this, so I'm just kind of curious of... Uh... I'm just going to take my paintbrush, and we're just going to do oh, this. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Oh, blending it in. That's pretty cool. That way you just get some different colors in the background. Do I have a minute to tell them about the Mackinac story? Uh, <laughs> or I no? suppose you could. Well, of course, Mackinac Island is an island. You do not allow cars on there. It's a really cool place uh, up in, uh, I guess that's northern Wisconsin, north, northeastern Wisconsin. So we, we went there on a vacation and you, we rented some bikes and you can actually bike all the way around the island. It's not that big of an island. So we're biking around and we stop at a, one of the beaches and I bend over to pick up a, a seashell. Well, a shell, not from the sea, but... And my pants split all the way down the back. The whole thing split. But yeah, I'm, that was... I'm not going to say anything while you're doing this. That was really something. I'm just taking my paints going up. Okay, so the paints... You're just using the paints that you uh, just uh, uh, squirted on there, right? No, no additional paints? No. Okay. So now I'm going to take my wedge and we're going to do a little bit of a, I don't know what you call it, I suppose. Oh, I really like how you do the, the circular. It's just something different. I knew you'd be surprised with this, Phil. Yeah, very surprised. I just love the effects you can do with these catalyst wedges. It seems so simple with just the teeth. There you go. Oh, that is so cool. It's very neat. It's, it kind of reminds me of cattails. It does. I, I like, I don't know, how did you pick up that pink? 
Well, that's <laughs> from the uh, bright. Oh, that's the right. Brilliant purple. You had a little bit of brilliant purple on there. Mm-hmm. Then I picked up a little bit of the um, aqua. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a cool area right there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just, I have fun doing this. Um, I can show you another one that I've done too, which is pretty cool. And well, you can finish up your story with your <laughs> Well, anyway, after my pants split, and I when I say split, it was from top to bottom. I had nothing to cover it, and here we are, uh, nowheres where I could get clothes on the other side of the, uh, it was just, it was uh, very embarrassing. Good thing I had clean underwear on. Here's the other one I did. Oh yeah. And tilt it back just a little bit there. Oh, that's even worse. Okay, forward. <laughs> I can hold it up here, actually. No, that's glary. You gotta hold it straight. There we go. Wow, that is so cool. I love this. It's so darn pretty. Yes. Very neat. So, everybody, if you like it, I think what I, I might do is I might call this the cattail. Oh, the catalyst cattail. Yeah, um, the ghost catalyst cattail swipe. There we go. I love this. It's so, so pretty. And it's so fun to do, everybody. It's it's just not that difficult to do. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's fun for beginners. And like I said, go get yourself some uh, catalyst tools, mm -hmm. and uh, away you go. Yeah, it's very cool. And I like where you have some subtle colorations coming through from the extra little bit of color that you squirted out of the tube. Correct. So now all I have to do is paint the sides and I can finish it with resin or you can use your, um, oh, the glass, the tri glass, whatever it is. Um, finish it however you want to do it. And so please subscribe to our channel. You never know what I'm going to do. Uh, we'd love to have you. And thank you for showing up today. We're having a lot of fun. And uh, I'm, actually, because this is a short um, video, I'm going to again tack on the demonstration of the catalyst tools, tools yeah. at the end because a lot of people haven't seen it yet Correct. and they're wondering how you uh, do this and so that would be a good thing to tack on to the end yeah that'll be great okay so i hope everybody has a great day painting um i'm gonna do another one of these because i had a lot of fun and i'll show you that as well and um i hope everybody has a fun day remember it's only paint and i'll see you all later alligators bye Okay, everybody, I'm back. So what I'm going to do on this video, I'm showing you how to use the three different types or four different types of catalyst wedges. Phil is tacking this on. So I'm going to show you also how I painted my canvas. I just took my color to go from Sherwin-Williams. Straight out of the can here. No water, no silicone, no glue. And this is just an empty puppy. And I just take my paintbrush and do this. I usually do a sponge, but today I'm doing this paintbrush. Well, I think the paintbrush would leave it a little bit thicker than doing a sponge, wouldn't it? Well, it doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be real thick. I know, but... Um... Now I'm just doing my sides now. Then I'll come back so no one gets confused. We'll make it pretty. Now, Phil, you know you could do this. That I think I could do, yes. So I'm going to have you practice and I'm going to video you because some people don't know what you look like. They're asking me what you look like and I just say goofy.
but I think it, you're going to see quite a difference in these catalyst wedges because of the teeth. And like I said, um, my favorite is number four, but I want all of you in the comments to tell me which I one. your favorite was number two. Number two. Number two. Um, tell me which one, you know, <laughs> is actually going to be your favorite. Um, okay. Okay, so that is how you prepare the canvas for... Uh, Doing your wedge, okay. wedges. All right. So, <clears throat> bye-bye, paint can. Okay, so now what I've done, I've taken my three colors again, put them on my plate, and we're going to start out with these numbers. So I'll go two, three, and four. Okay. I'll go in order. Of course, I'm starting out with my favorite. Hopefully I have enough paper towels here for me. If not, okay. This is number two. Catalyst wedge number two. Okay, grabbing a little bit of each of the three colors. colors. Okay, yeah. just onto the teeth. Okay. And here we go. Okay, wow. Yes. So that's your number two. Okay, that's the type of pattern you get from the number two, all right. And you're actually bringing up some of the canvas. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to keep them separate so they can yes. see. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, okay, let's see a number three. Number just what three. It looks like. Okay, kind of dull teeth, all right. Wider teeth. Colors. This is the wider teeth. As you can see. Oh yes. They're wider. That was a number two catalyst. No, this was a number three. I know. I, you, oh. You're not paying attention to what I'm doing. No, I'm, I'm pointing out. Oh. This was number two and this was number three catalyst wedge. Okay, now we're Very coming different. up to number four. That's four, okay. As you can see, that's even wider. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I uh, I personally like that one in the respect that it brought up uh, between the paint, uh, the heavier paint is the, is more of the lighter blues than the base. So that was number four. Now I can show them this yes. little dinky number 24. Yeah, well that's how I wanted to see the teeth so they could see. Well, I'll show you after now. Okay, all so right. I'll be able to see it. Okay, where am I going to go here? I'll just do a little one here. See, it really doesn't bring up much of the underneath canvas. Right. So, uh, depending on the effect you want, let me just uh, we'll take a look at that. Okay, little bitty teeth. All right. So, this was a number two. Mm -hmm. This was a number three wedge. Mm -hmm. This was a number four wedge, which I particularly like. And, and this is the number 24. Okay. So you can create really, really different cool effects depending on what wedge you use, yes. Now, um, maybe I will show the cake. Well, so, yeah, as long as we're doing this. you can see the difference. Some people are using, what are those called? Cake decorator okay. tools. All right. So I don't know how this is going to work. As you can see, the teeth on those are sharp. I don't use these. Versus some of the uh, more duller teeth. 
on the I guess we'll little go over here. We'll just go up through here so they have a good view. It doesn't matter. This is just a demonstration. You don't get much of a creation. I really yes. like the movement of the wedges more so than the cake uh, decorating tools. Well, the cake tools are so sharp, the teeth are so sharp, it doesn't grab a lot of the, no. uh, of the paint. No, so, it doesn't. No, if you want a real subtle effect, that would work. That would, I'm, but I'm going to do another one with this number four so you okay. can see because four and two are really cool. Oh, is it pouring? Yeah, it's pouring out. <laughs> See the difference? I love that number four. Wow. That is so cool. It's very, very pretty. Right. I'm going to do it over this. Well, no, I'll leave the cake thing. Yes. So they can see it. But um, the catalyst tools are amazing. Uh, they should be in my Amazon shop, I believe. Yeah, they Brad are. Phil. Yeah, they are in the Amazon so shop. So remember, number two, number three. Mm-hmm. Number four, Phil's favorite. Yes. And this is the dinky number 24. Sharper teeth, okay, sharper Very teeth, sharp wider teeth. teeth. So they all create- Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, if I can, can you just hold your finger there? Cause I'm gonna pick this one. Maybe you can show that one again. That's the first one I did. This is the first one that this video was tacked on to, okay. And that was this, all using the same wedge. Correct. And this is the one to show you all the different designs that you can get with the four wedges. So, I hope you learned something. Um, we're going to have Phil do one of these. It'll be fun whenever. I don't know when he's going to do it, but he's got to practice first. And uh, we'll see you all later, alligators. Have a great day, and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Love you all. Bye-bye.